Okay guys, hi everybody, this is Zhu from the forum, and as promised, here is a small uh, video about the PCA leveler, the new pro channel model from Kcook, and as you see, this is a model of LA2A, I'm doing a quick comparison with the Chris Lord Age and the IK Multimedia. So basically, here's the setup. I just used a regular machine drum beat, very simple. Drum, snare, hi-hat. I chose to, uh, to use a drum beat because it's more easy for, uh, for people to, um, to really appreciate what's going on on the transient. And uh, the most important thing for me for compressor is the relative, um, the relative balance between each element and the ability of the compressor to uh, to preserve the dynamic the dynamic ranges or not uh, I'm also using the Dorometer in here this is very important because you gotta check the, the relative lightness when you use the compressor or not to compare a compressor with another one or to compare a compressor with a dry signal you have, you have to match the levels but not the peak levels but the, the average loudness so the Dorometer is very good, as you see in here. You see the green stuff is the loudness and the yellow stuff in here on my voice, this is the peaks, okay? And when you, you compare some, um, some stuff, you got to check the loudness. If you can hear it, you can see it here, okay? As I also have the Spectrum Analyzer here. This is a seven phase Spectrum Analyzer, and this is free for the people that want it. I have several questions sometime about that. For those that want to know what I'm using on my voice right now, I just use the Valley People Dynamite for for the expanding to, to get rid of noise, the Trident EQ, and the TubeTech CN1B. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna hear the the drum. Try. Here we go. Here we go. As you can see in here, we have the same average loudness, but the transient here are passing through the compressor because of this. This is I, I wouldn't say this is a slow attack, but basically this is more um, a soft knee that is doing that. I think. Okay, and uh, so let's check the Chris Lord age right now. I'm gonna do like the. The, four, the first two bars without the crystal edge and the last one with the crystal edge. Here we go.
know if you hear it, but I hear it clearly. Uh, there is a tone stuff in here. The frequency response in here with the crystal age and the PC2A is definitely not the same. I heard some brighter stuff going on in here, okay, due to the hi hats. You can even see it here and here. And basically, um, this is brighter with the crystal age, okay? And um, what what is very strange, I'm, I'm, I mean, I ain't gonna say it's strange, but um, uh, not very good, is that we are, we are now not respecting the, the in, initial tone. This is what I'm saying. Here's the initial. Chris. Without. Okay, so we definitely hear some brightness. They can be good because it opens up the sound, something like that. But we don't want it. We do, we want to respect the, the the ignition sound. This is this is this is something due to the the way he detects and uh, the frequency in here with this knob. I kept this knob at the middle um, position because the IK multimedia is modeled about the um, LA two A. Uh, with this position. So we're gonna check right now the T-Rex. There we go. something like that so what's going on in here what's going on the thing is that when you hear the t-rex this is very good because it preserved the tone very well and we're not very far from the original signal but you actually see that it also kills the transient in here sometimes it's good you wanna you wanna you wanna master the dynamic of um, some material and you, by mastering this dynamic, you stabilize the sound and space. Now this is quite good. But sometimes you want to let the transient pass because you want to compress all the other signal. Right? And by letting the transient pass, you preserve the dynamic perception of what you're hearing in the mix. So by compressing the rest of the sound, you give room to your mix because sound is less loud and so you have more room to place all the sound. If you have got a busy mix, it's some great stuff. But if you kill the transient by doing that, you also kill the dynamic. Uh, this is the famous 3D effect we all hear about. So basically sometimes killing the transient can be good to really master some and sometimes you gotta let the treasure pass to preserve the dynamic perception. So basically, we have what we have in here: three compressor. We have one that kill the transient but preserve the original tone. We get one that let the transient pass, but it's kind of brighter. We give another tone to the original tone. And this is where I think the PC2A shine because he actually is the best of both worlds. I mean, he let the transient pass and still doesn't sound brighter or something like that. He still preserved the original uh, tone of the, the sound. 
So let's do it again. Dry, dry, dry. Okay. I'm gonna switch between each process. Next, we slow the age. I think this is obvious for me. Okay, uh, the next stuff we're gonna do is we're gonna play a little with uh, with this stuff in here with the frequency to show you guys the impact of what's going on on the sound. Same stuff. You're gonna focus on the hi hats, okay? And uh, this is for my boy Danny. And basically, we can we used to use like this compressor when you put it on the high frequency. I mean, he gonna focus on the high frequency. And it's gonna act like a deesser, basically. Okay, I remember the original unit. Uh, I got some friends of mine older than me that I used to do that like that. So PC two A preload age in this case because we don't have this control in here. Okay, so bye bye amigo. All right, I'm gonna do it like this. There we go. Preload age. Focus on the high hat stuff. drastic change in the tone not especially the loudness I know this is different in the loudness but you see a change in the in the sound and basically here it focuses on the high frequency to, to try to master them on the flat stuff it really compress everything that's going on let's play with the PC to a gonna do it flat Crystal 
Dash Hyper. Basically, for me, this is obvious. Even uh, when we focus on the high frequency in here, I think the PC to A level is doing a better job on doing this. I really love the Chris Lord H because sometimes I'm gonna use this because I prefer the way it reacts. But basically, this this one is mm, I ain't gonna say more accurate because I don't have the hardware, but more in phase of what I'm um, watching. Uh, for compressor to give me okay yes it doesn't master a lot of treasant but this is w not what I want uh, on the material I'm gonna use it okay most of the time I'm gonna use this on the vocals and if I put my lead vocal in here in front and like my background vocals in a place I want to compress the stuff and give cohesion and I want to preserve this lead vocal up front and um, and the background vocal uh, on the background so to preserve this dynamic perception of elements uh, I think it's better to use the PC to a level this is like the way I'm gonna use it for me and um, for the Chris Lord age what is really I already noticed this uh, before, before I even got the PCA level. There was that, that kind of brightness on, on, on it. I don't know if, maybe it's due only on the, the knee, because uh, we know on this case the high hats he got a very quick attack. And I don't know if it's the ability of the compressor to react fast, or to simply grab the, the transient with a, a better knee. Uh, setting okay so I hope you enjoyed this video so basically um, I'm gonna skip I'm gonna put all the compressor in the regular position right now and um, I hope it will help you to uh, to really appreciate what's going on we can hear it the crystal engine is not bad at all huh? and I'm gonna definitely keep it both I really hope the PC 2 is gonna be like an option to put it on VST because it's kind of very small for my old eyes but basically 
Um, I ain't gonna say this one is better than this one or something like that. I just gonna say that for my use, I'm more gonna use the C2A if I really need it. And uh, on a regular basis, I'm gonna use a tree slot age. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, feel free to ask me whatever you want, and I will be uh, very pleased to, to help you and uh, to, to put another video. I'm very sorry because this is not like I got no scripts for the video, this is pure improvisation. And uh, so I'm very sorry, it's very long, and sometimes uh, sometime I get very like uh, boring or something. I'm really sorry about that if somebody feels like that.